Welcome back. With me right now is Dr. Trent, also known as Iggy. You all know him. He's here today uh, with Irvine Clinical Research and also the uh, Brain Healthy Brain Club .com and Tongue Out and all kind of it all kind of flows together. And also today is Lisa Colavita. She is the well. You're overseeing CCA, CCA and uh, uh, you kind of took over this when Denny passed away, but you. I understand Correct. you've worked with her. Yes, we worked for together years. for um, about a year and a half. Uh, as soon as we met, um, we started collaborating, and we started doing a program under the CCA called the NSG, and that's where Dr. Trin and I had um, met. And it is supporting the neurological community, yeah. and it's been uh, so. This year for 2018, we're starting about talking about brain health, and that's where our programs are focused for 2018. So we're going to continue. And uh, we always do a little uh, reference to Denny in yes. our monthly meetings. So. Very good. Now, Dr. Tran, of course, um, you've been involved with Irvine Clinical Research. Right. And I mentioned Tongue Out, and, which is more of your right. philanthropic organization. But yes. they all kind of, uh, it all kind of blends <laughs> in. Blends it, I never know when he's going to come on. I'll put Tongue Out. Healthy Brain Club, Irvine Clinic, he's involved, <laughs> he's involved with everything. CCA, yeah, you never yeah. know what it's going to be, but it all kind of blends in. Right. But l let's talk about um, your launching your brain health seminars that will be coming yes. here to the village. Is that within CCA? Yes. Okay. Yes. So tell me yes. about that. Yes, uh, I've realized that, uh, you know, after giving these lectures uh, almost weekly in uh, the village and uh, outside of the village about brain health, about uh, risk reduction for Alzheimer's, about mm -hmm. lifestyle changes. Do we just come to realize wh how big this need is for this right. type of information? Uh, simply because it's a, an epidemic, uh, this disease. Uh, it's the third leading cause of death in Orange County, Alzheimer's. And we need to talk more about what we can do proactively. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what this seminar is about. Uh, how to be proactive to keep our brains healthy. Right. And, uh, and to maintain that. And so, uh, and I, I think it's just a, a need and a, and a demand to, to bring this type of information out to the community and especially out to Laguna Woods uh, because uh, when I'm doing my lectures, I ask folks how many of us here know somebody with memory problems. Mm -hmm. Just about every hand is raised. Yeah. And uh, so Wait, we're bringing this out. Let, I, I know you've talked about this before, mm -hmm. and research has shown there, there, it could be hereditary, but there's some, yes. some different causes, and it can be different for other people. Mm -hmm. um, but yes. there's different, different types of scenarios that can play a role in it, or I should say may, yes. because for some people it, it may not, right? Completely. Um, what we eat, what we don't eat, whether we exercise or not, how much sleep we get, mm -hmm. whether we socialize or not, yeah. uh, and genetics, all these factors uh, play a role together. And we're out there to communicate and, um, and educate the community on on those specific factors and and to help folks to be proactive so that they don't have to see me <laughs> <laughs> I, you know you mentioned sleep and right. i know you've mentioned diet uh, as well right um and i think one of the hardest things because diet i think if, if somebody puts their mind to it right. you can change that in a day you can just turn around and go i'm going to start eating healthy might be hard to stick to it, but you can do that. Mm -hmm. Sleep is one of the hardest things because depending on your lifestyle, right. mm. uh, your work schedule, and even I know you look at uh, people right. who are younger, meaning 40s and 50s, mm -hmm. uh, that have kids, they got practice, they've got, you know, all this stuff. Right. Getting more sleep for a lot of people is next to impossible. That's what, to me, one of the hardest things. It is a challenge, especially yeah. with our busy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Uh, over the last two, three years, more clinical research is revealing the connection between sleep, sleeping disorder or lack of sleep yeah. and Alzheimer's. There is a strong association that we are starting to realize. And so for those purposes, we are telling folks of the importance of sleep. 
Yeah. The association is really simple. This amyloid plaque that builds yeah, up, yeah. right? Uh, there's a process of amyloid production mm -hmm. and amyloid removal. Amyloid production, when there's too much amyloid, puts us at risk for Alzheimer's. Amyloid removal occurs during sleep. Mm -hmm. Ah. And uh, as a result of that, uh, we need to get this message out, especially if this is an epidemic. Yeah. It's so important that actually at Irvine Clinical, we, uh, we have a program, a clinical trial we just launched uh, for folks who have memory problems mm -hmm. and sleeping problems. Wow. We have a, a program to help with that for anyone who's interested uh, with that. That's, yeah, like I said, I think that's probably one of the hardest things because for many people, even if they sleep well, the amount of sleep may be out of their control right. in, in certain lifestyles, unfortunately. I mean, the way you pop around, I imagine it's, <laughs> it's hard for you. So, Lisa, tell me your, your uh, involvement. You know, you're with CCA now. Right. And what do you look for coming up this year as far as the different programs coming to CCA, both with Dr. Tran and, and just other programs as well? Well, CCA, we're excited because as the program director uh, for 2018, we are really focused on prevention, in particular uh, brain health. Mm -hmm. And so with Dr. Trin's help, we're trying to put together a, a seminars and classes. So there'll be, there's so much information about brain health that's not well, not well known and can change life, can change the quality of life for so many folks. Yeah. In particular, disease prevention like Alzheimer's that when I tell people what I've learned from Dr. Trin and in our seminars, in his seminars, I, I find there's a lot of people that just don't know that there's things that can be done mm -hmm. to help um, change the possibility of having dementia and Alzheimer's. So in particular, for example, our first session was on superfoods. Sounds very benign, superfoods, yeah. but it's, it's a really powerful, has a really powerful impact on people's lives if they are to be they, they maintain the diet according mm -hmm. to uh, what we're talking about. And there's just this information. Information is power. And so Danny and I always believe that. So when we're, we get our classes together, we talk about how, not only talk about information, but how to use it. So we'll do exercises that will help the brain. Mm -hmm. um, we'll um, have Dr. Trin come out, talk about the clinical evidence, the information that's out there. Um, so along those lines, our first, that's our first line. Then we'll have our Medicare conference in October, um, continue with that. Okay. So that's kind of what, what's on the, the docket right now. <laughs> All right. Well, I know, uh, you know, with Dr. Tran, I know, was it about a year ago uh, you did a seminar? Maybe it was a little bit less than that because I remember mm -hmm. you did it at one of the clubhouses. Right. You were, and you had some extra other guests on as well. Yes, yes. Clubhouse Five, I think last year we were there about three times. Yeah. Yeah, on, on different topics. Uh, once we talked about arthritis, uh, another topic was, of course, brain health. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, I'm frequently in Clubhouse Two as well mm -hmm. for the Kiwanis Club. Yeah. Yes. And, um, and we will be, I think, uh, is it the f May, the first Tuesday of May? No, April. April. Yeah. For our NSG. We meet monthly. It's the first. It's the first Tuesday of every month. For what? Did you for say? our neuro support oh, group. Oh, neuro support group. Yeah. Okay. April is uh, will be on uh, another brain health. All right. Topic, so, so, you know, there's things that can be done. I understand there is research on the way that, you know, possibly right. one day there could be some sort of vaccine or whatever it might be. That's certainly our hope, uh, and, and we will do everything we can to reduce our risks. Uh, obviously, you know, we cannot prevent anything 100%. Right. There's genetics, there's lifestyle, but uh, what we want to do is reduce risk, and through lifestyle changes, through things that we can take action on at home. All right. And that's what we want to promote this year. So again, uh, it's healthybrainclub.com, and you can do, uh, call Dr. Tran also for a free consultation at 949-753-1663. can help you out there. We'll uh, certainly let you know uh, when the uh, CCA meeting happens and the, the topics they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, with Dr. Tran, you just never know where he's going <laughs> to where he's going to pop up. He's always got things. He, as as I said last time you were on, it was about tongue out, but it all kind of 
blends kind of in. works together. That's so right. it's good. Lisa, yes. nice to meet so you. Nice to meet you as well. And Thank you. Iggy, as always, <laughs> take <laughs> care. All right. Thank and, you. you know, he had to, he's got his, um, you know, sandals on as usual, and his <laughs> pink toenails or whatever they are. Are they green? They should be green. Uh, I think today they're pink. All but right. <laughs> Spring is coming, yeah. so it may, need, Patrick's a, it tomorrow. may Come need a on. refresh for green. All right, yeah, very next, good. Next time. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>